This video will help county staff when viewing payment history in 4-H Online. Viewing payment history will indicate one's payment method and payment status. Log in to 4-H Online at the county level. Select the Finances tab and the Payments icon. To view payment history for a particular member, enter the member's name in the search field. Select to view payment history for an enrollment or for an event. When searching enrollment payments, the desired year may be selected. When searching event payments, a specific event may be selected or select to view all events. Click search. The search result will display the date, description, invoice amount, payment method, payment status, and balance. The date field is the day the enrollment or event registration process was started in 4-H Online. It is not necessarily the date payment was received. The payment status on a check form of payment will always show as pending, unless the payment has been marked as received, though it is not necessary to do so. The balance on a check form of payment will always be zero. The payment status on a credit card form of payment will show as pending and with an amount due in the balance field until the member's enrollment or registration is approved in 4-H Online at the county level. After the enrollment or registration is approved in 4-H Online, the credit card payment status will change to approved and a zero balance, unless the credit card is declined, in which case it will state declined and with an amount due. If a credit card payment is declined on an enrollment fee, the member must pay the enrollment fee directly to the county office. Payment cannot be reattempted in 4-H Online. The county office should notify the state office when payment has been received. If a credit card payment is declined on an event registration, the member may attempt payment again in 4-H Online or make payment to the county office. If payment is made to the county office, the county office should notify the state office when payment is received. For more information, please visit utah4h.org.